the early dry earth had neither an atmosphere nor an ocean. Countless planetesimals and icy planets bombarded the earth. Over a period of 200 million years, an ocean atmosphere system is being formed from carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen contained in planetesimals. At that time, the ocean was still toxic with high salinity and an overabundance of heavy metals. It was too toxic to support life. Asteroids that reached a diameter of 1,000 kilometers flew into the Earth. On impact, both the crust and asteroids became plasma in an instant. The surface was covered with magma. In the center of the crater, a basaltic central cone formed. This creates an upflow in the mantle. As the magma cooled and solidified, a basaltic crust thinner than the continental crust formed. This is called oceanic crust. Surface water flowed into the giant crater, forming small puddles that turned into one large ocean. The subsequent rising mantle created a breach in the oceanic crust and formed a ridge. Uplift of the plate by mantle convection caused horizontal slippage due to the weight of the plate. This is plate tectonics in action. The oceanic plate subducted under the lighter continental plate. Weathered sediments neutralized the ultra-acidic ocean. Heavy metals settled out and became fixed as deposits at the mid-oceanic ridge. These deposits were transported through plate tectonics into the deep mantle. Gradually, the ocean became a habitable environment. Since 4.2 billion years ago, a liquid core has formed in the center of the Earth. Convection within the liquid core created a strong magnetic field surrounding the Earth. This geomagnetic field shields the Earth's surface from solar winds and cosmic rays. The Earth's surface was nearing readiness for life. <laughs> 